Hey, hi, how's it going guys? Um, today I'm making a tutorial uh, based on the flickering issue with Windows 8 and uh, this is caused due to a bad driver um, from NVIDIA. I've had a whole lot of questions sent to my inbox from a whole lot of people so I decided to throw up a video and help everybody out on how to resolve this. Alright, so first what I'm going to do is show up uh, boot up the PC and show you the issue. Th this could be specific to just Samsung laptops, which is what I have right here. Uh, it is the Gamer Edition notebook. Or this could be happening to other users using Windows 8 as well, 64-bit uh, operating system with NVIDIA graphic cards. As you can see, this flickering issue right here is, is the concern that's going around, and that is caused by the driver. Um, so there's two alternative approaches to this that I figure out. The first approach is upon the system loading up um, you can either revert back the driver to one of the working drivers before you install the latest driver um, so my working driver was uh, 314 point something I can't be precise but 314 point something in the GeForce driver and <clears throat> I can assure that was a driver that worked successfully whereas this driver that I'm using right now is 329 point no sorry 329.49 uh, WHQL certified driver. Uh, the beta version didn't work either and this one didn't work either because they're using the same driver so it's not going to work regardless. The only, um, I mean I've already posted the issue um, sorry I'm just trying to sign in here so I'm going to look away okay um, so I mean, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys the driver version that I'm using. Uh, okay, GeForce Experience. And you're going to see now the driver version I'm using. Alright, system booted up fine. As you can see right here, um, see the camera can detect that. Yeah, GeForce 320.49. I was wrong at this. I want to say 329.49. This is. 320.49 driver and it says here it is the beta version because uh, the WHQL certified did not make any difference so in this case uh, I mean I'm, I'm happy enough to keep this driver and uh, use this driver because it gives me a lot of performance in games although at the start I have that flickering issue uh, with my laptop but um, that driver here 314 Point two two is the most successful driver currently available for both desktops and laptops where there are no issues and every game um, works up to performance so this this is the first step to revert back to this driver right here okay uh, 314.22 that is the first step of solving this issue Alright people, the second step to solving this issue is if uh, before you boot up the laptop and you plug it in through the HDMI cable, which is exactly what I've done right now, as you can see right here, there's the HDMI cable plugged right through into my TV and my TV is what's functioning right now um, as the alternative display for my laptop. Um, the, the use of this is to avoid is to avoid uh, the flickering issue on boot up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate this quickly by rebooting my PC so I mean as you guys can see right now I'm going to settings over there and I'm trying to power and shut down PC okay so I'm going to show you guys what's going to happen next when the PC shuts down and Okay, peeps, I'm going to now go ahead and boot up the laptop using uh, the external display. So, uh, we can see right now, we can see right now, uh, initially comes over here, uh, the logo appears on, on this screen, Not, nothing happens uh, up there. Um, that's because we're still at the uh, initial boot up stage. But you can see the flickering has gone. The flickering has gone, I confirm, the flickering has disappeared. There's no flickering on that screen, no flickering over here. So there is no flickering until when the boots up, and this is simply because the computer is now currently um, uh, the computer is currently now transmitting signal from from the laptop into the TV. So it is it is conflicting with the driver that's that's here that would uh, initially cause issues on boot up because the driver doesn't doesn't match the software, doesn't match the hardware. 
because the, the, the driver they've provided us is faulty and it is, it's not compatible with the hardware. That's why it flickers. The screen flickers with this window, Windows 8. But it's not happening as we can see right now. Nothing's happening. It's not flickering anymore. And as soon as um, the window has loaded up, you will see it just go into the initial startup stage where you must log in. So there is no flickering going. No flickering whatsoever. Okay, now we can see um, it's it's it is just booted up fine, and this, the same way that it would with a three one four point two two driver version. So here we go, and here is our two fixes, um, alternative fixes um, to the to the faulty driver provided by Nvidia because they're not going to do anything about this. They're not going to be able, they're not fixing it. I mean, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to find out if any of the future drivers will have this issue fixed. But if it's not, this is the temporary fix that I have uh, figured out myself. So I hope this video has helped everyone who's struggling with this issue. And if it has, please subscribe to the channel to, uh, for more future videos. And thanks for watching.